Welcome back to the Yes Longevity Podcast, where we give you insight on how to get fit, feel younger, and live better. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me this afternoon. I'm Chris Borda from Yes Fitness. We're coming right here from my family room. It is a beautiful day out there today in Burlington, Connecticut. Actually, in Terryville, Connecticut, too. Somewhere in the 60s, so I hope you've been able to get outside and uh, breathe some fresh air and get some movement. We know how important movement is. So, yes, we are still closed, and we still believe we're going to be closed at least until April 30th. Hopefully, that will change. Fingers crossed, right? Everybody wants to get back to their normal lifestyle. Despite the fact that the COVID-19 crisis may seem like a low way off, and we need to continue to treat it to the utmost seriousness uh, by keeping our social distance, uh, washing our hands regularly, and keeping a lookout for each other. So we can kind of stop the spread of this virus um, so that we can reach the end of this light. Can we reach the light at the end of this tunnel? That's what we're looking for, right? And what I just wanted to talk to you about today is not just so much the normal things about the COVID-19 crisis, but how you can help yourselves feel better and manage your time. Because as I talk to different people and I get onto different Zoom calls and, and different coaching forums, I hear a common theme that, hey, you know what? It's easy. I can just sit on the couch. I get mesmerized by the television or on my phone or on the computer. Hours and hours go by. I get nothing done. And at the end of the day, you're beating yourself up because you don't feel like you've gotten anything done. You don't feel productive. It's a beautiful day out and maybe you never even got it outside. So, you know, there are, you know, certain things that I just want to talk to you about that can maybe help you to plan your day a little bit better. So again, we need to realize, we need to understand that this COVID-19 is very serious. I heard one statistic that if three people can pass on the virus uh, to 10 people, and before you know it, you got like 59, 60,000 infections. So we need to still do the things we need to do, right? We need to pay attention to those essentials, like washing our hands, keeping the social distance, sanitizing all our surfaces, doorknobs, everything, right? No partying. It can't be getting together socially. You need to do this. We need to stop this thing, right? And one thing I'd like you guys to think about doing is try to practice some gratitude. Be grateful that for everything that we have, our amazing public health system, um, all those healthcare workers who are out there putting themselves uh, right at the front line of duties, our policemen, our firemen, uh, utility workers, uh, the people at the grocery store, everybody that's keeping this country going in these hard times. We want to make sure that we're being thankful for that, being thankful for our family. Hopefully, we're being thankful for our health, right? So thanks, everyone on the front lines for that. Another little afterthought, or, or I should say another thought about this here a little bit, is that you want to make sure that you do not get negative. Negative thoughts will sabotage you, right? Uh, my mentor at Results Fitness University, Alan Cosgrove, he survived cancer twice. And he says, you know what? There are no good days. There are only great days. So every day you need to make it great. And it's you decide whether your day is great or not. No one else can decide that but yourself, right? And finally, I know there's a lot of anxiety out there. Um, and it's very understandable. But for a lot of people, it's a very anxious times. And it's a normal response to the danger and the threats that we're facing right now. But don't let it take over your being so that you stop from functioning, right? And being practical. We need to be able to live our lives. You need to be able to have positive thoughts. So let's get some positive thoughts in our minds. And let's see just how we can address all this free time we might have on our hands. So I know some people are working home, but I know there are a lot of people that are unemployment now. And it's very stressful. So we need to have positive thoughts. And we need to put a plan in place. So... The plan of place I think you should try to do is I think you should try to do this the, the night before, before you go to bed. So if Monday night, you think about doing some things on Tuesday. So you get up and you have some kind of sense of purpose rather than just getting up and going downstairs, maybe having breakfast, not having breakfast, sitting on the couch, getting in front of some kind of screen, whether it's the TV, the computer, your phone, have some kind of sense of purpose and have some kind of schedule. Okay, that's what's going to help you get through these times, because we know this is going to be at least April. We got another 25 days at least of this. Right. And when we do get back, it's going to be a little bit different than we would have wanted before um, we close down. Right. 
So the first thing you really want to try to do is you want to try to learn how to use something like Zoom, Google Hangouts, or FaceTime, right? We know that social isolation is one, the number one top thing, okay, factor in longevity. Social isolation in family, those those things are really, really important. You socially isolate yourself, and we're being forced to right now, it is going to cause even more deaths, more deaths beyond the COVID-19 crisis. So you need to keep your relationships. So Zoom is free. Just log right on to Zoom. It's not that difficult to do. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Or get on to Hangout. It's free. FaceTime is available for those Apple products. Think about those friends that you haven't talked to in a long time. So, so make a list of people. Make a list of people or family friends you haven't talked to. And, and make it a point that tomorrow I'm going to call two or three people that I haven't talked to in a long time. You can even invite all these people together and get on a Zoom call all together with everybody. You could maybe even have um, a Zoom dinner party. So get some friends together, put the computers out on the, the screens out on your table and get together and Zoom it along and have a party and drink and have some fun. You can share times together even if we're not together, right? We can still share things with these kind of avenues. Today's technology is unbelievable. So figure out how to use Zoom, figure out how to use uh, Google Hangouts or, or FaceTime and, and get a party together, right? A dinner party with your friends. You can even practice some slow virtual hugging. I, I believe it or not, I've heard that's a real thing now. Just fr tell your friends that you give them a, give them a hug Put your arms around them, squeeze them, going cheek to cheek, sending them some kind of love. If you want to do that, I guess it's a real thing now. The things that come out with these kind of things. So, so get up. I should get up and make some phone calls every single day, okay? Two, three people that you haven't talked to in a long time. Get a circle of friends together, Zoom, whatever it might be, um, to get them together like that. If you are sick or if you're feeling self-isolated, you need to get on the phone with somebody, right? You need to connect with them. Don't wait for them to connect with you. The majority of human beings out there are friendly, okay? And they want to help. So they want to talk to you. So if you're alone, don't think you bothered anybody right now. Get on the phone, get on one of those uh, platforms and get a hold of them, okay? If you have a friend, you know, who struggles with OCD, anxiety, or mental illness, you know, maybe just a little bit unstable, make sure you're reaching out to them. Make, make Take special attention to those people. Call them, Zoom them, FaceTime regularly, not just one time. Get them on your list of somebody you need to call more frequently. You got to start thinking about other people more than yourselves right now. We need to help other people, okay? So if you belong to maybe a club, a book club, or a social group or a church, okay? You can get, all get together in some kind of big Zoom, Zoom meeting, right? Work on a webinar together. All this is free stuff, okay? You can get together with that. You can maybe join a chorus online, get everybody together and start singing some songs, have a little karaoke together, okay? Um, maybe you have a dance party, get some music cranking and have a dance party together. You could even play a board game over one of these platforms with someone. So there are things you can do and you wanna to try to get a plan, get a plan in place. And you're gonna feel so much better when you're in contact with your friends, okay? You can get get on contact with a friend and you can search some games online. And you play some stuff online with each other. Even if you're not playing with yourself, you can play with them. Geez, I know, you know, this generation of kids have been preparing this forever, right? They've been sitting at home in front of computer screens all day long playing games with each other all the time, right? So it's not unusual to happen. You know, some of us older people, we need to get used to it. We need to reach out and we need to use the technology that's available to us right now because social isolation is not healthy. It's not healthy for you. And it's not healthy for the person that you're contacting. There's a lot of people out there are alone. There's a lot of people out there that are alone and do not have someone else to even talk to. Imagine being locked up in your house alone all day or your apartment with no one there. So. That's something you definitely can do. You can get on a, um, a platform and you can exercise with somebody. You knew I'd bring exercise in here somehow, right? Because we know we want to keep fit. We know we want to build our immune systems. Buddy up with somebody, okay? And one person, put our, put our exercise programs up on, on a screen and work out together. You don't need to work out alone. 
set an appointment. Hey, you know what? Every day, 9 a.m., we're going to work out together, whether we're doing a strength program, whether we're going to do a metabolic program, or we're just going to go out for a walk together virtually. Make that appointment. So start to fill your schedule, okay, as you do it through the day. Uh, you know, it's getting to that time of year. So something that you can start to think about maybe doing is building a garden, okay? Get your garden beds ready and start to grow some, some vegetables, some foods. You know the foods will be good. They'll be healthy. It takes time. And you're going to feel really good if you can get those darn tomatoes to come up. I know I have a problem. I don't have a green thumb. But you can do something like that. Think about some things that um, you don't normally do around the house, right? You need to make sure that you're keeping your kids moving, right? So do some story time telling. Maybe get a bunch of friends together on a Zoom call and do a story time together. You can arrange to maybe swap some books out, right? You got to be careful with that, but you can swap some books out because, this is, you know, we, I mean, we have a ton of kids' books we don't use anymore, but it's something you can do. Get some reading time together. Put it on your calendar. Um, you can start some daily meditation and mindful habits, okay? If you really just, it's a matter of sitting around, sitting still. It's all it is, sitting still and watching your breathing go in and out. Train your mind to let go of every thought as soon as it arrives. And start to enjoy the stillness that lies within, okay? Once the mental clutter has slowed down and gone away, you can really start to feel that calmness, okay? So that mental chatter can really take over our minds. So put it into your plan every day. 2 a.m., I'm going to do some mindfulness. I'm going to get some mindful habits and do some daily meditation. So you can see, you can start to build a day here. You can plan a day. Take some time to carve out some, some, uh, uh, some personal goals. Determine what you want to be able, what you want to accomplish in the next six months. Maybe you want to develop a new craft or a new skill or an art or a craft, right? So just get online and start to learn about a couple of different things. Pick out four or five of your favorite things you want to try to do. Choose one and say, this is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to get this accomplished in the next six months. Maybe you want to try to study a course in the next six months. So in six months from now, you may become a certified personal trainer or get your CPR, or whatever it might be, but take some time to think about that. You have a little bit of time right now, so let's utilize that time to b build and develop. Don't just sit around and do nothing, right? Maybe do some kind of continuing education that you haven't been able to get to. Something, set a goal. I need to have these, these continuing edge credits done by whatever. September 1st or something like that. But let's just think about maybe some things that you want to try to accomplish that you maybe haven't had time for. Maybe you've uh, had to put off because you were so busy before. Maybe you want to learn how to dance. So let's get online and start learning how to dance and put that as a goal that you need to be able to do the two-step by April 1st. Not April 1st. That's a little bit quick, right? It's past. I meant to say August 1st. So Think about that. Put that into your schedule. Say, okay, tomorrow morning from 8 to 9, right after breakfast, I'm going to sit down and try to map out a plan for the next six months, what I want to try to accomplish. Make sure you put some exercise into your schedule. Some of that exercise can just be a nice long walk. Get out on the trails into the local parks. Most of them are still open, I believe. Uh, there's an app, All Trails, that I use when I travel, so I can find some nice trails that I like to do. You can invite a friend to come along with you. Just make sure you keep that social distancing, right? Or you can talk to them on the phone, FaceTime on the phone while you're walking. Be careful. You don't miss a step here, okay? Or even better, why don't you just leave your cell phone home, okay? Take Get off, get off technology for a few minutes and enjoy the nature's beauty. If you do happen to walk by somebody, say hello to them. Give them a smile, right? If you're out there, maybe feel good about picking up some trash a little bit get some you know do some good things while we're walking around these parks get some of the trash in the clutter so put a little walk on your on your um, plan for tomorrow something i want you to try to do is make sure that you're staying well so take inventory of all your prescriptions make sure you have enough of those prescription drugs um 
Take a look at your medications. Make sure you have enough pain relievers, uh, fever suppressors, cough syrup, stomach, things like that, tissues, vitamins, fluids, just in case you were to get COVID-19 virus. And you do need to hunker down. Make sure you have everything in your house before this could happen because you don't want to get sick and then have to try to get to the store to get this stuff. So make sure you have all this stuff into your plan. So put that in your plan for tomorrow. Inventory my medical supplies so that I am ready in case something does happen to me or a family member. Um, probably doing this already, but you want to make sure that you check in your finances. If you haven't already, go through, look at things that, uh, that you have regular payments on that maybe you can push off a delay like a mortgage payment or a student loan. Uh, cash is king right now. You don't want to run out of cash. So, um, you might be able to get, uh, if you have a business, access to some zero interest credit. Uh, so take a look at what you can do. Call up those people. Everybody's right now is willing to help out. So there might be somebody out there that you say, you know, you know what? They bill me anyway. They're going to bill me no matter what. Get on a call. Find out. Maybe you can get them to um, um, cancel that payment for this month or next month. Right? So definitely something you should take a look at doing so put it on your plan to get that done with all this stress and we are together and uh you know i was talking to somebody today and the uh, domestic violence is up and not just between husbands and wives has a lot to do with you know parents and children things like that and it can be very stressful we're alone with people that we're not typically alone with all day long unless we're on vacation, right? Now we're just hunkered down. We've been down here for two, three weeks now. So you need to make sure that you take some time, set aside to deepen your chosen partnerships, whoever that may be. Take some time with that, okay? Think about it. Get away from all the technology. Talk about maybe how you're feeling, whether have you stressed about some things. Talk about things that you've been able to accomplish. If your relationship was rocky already, maybe you want to try to get some advice right now from a professional so it doesn't get worse in this in this time of crisis. You know what? One of the best thing medical experts say, cuddle, be close with your partner. If you're separated, make sure you're getting on Zoom calls with them so you can see them face to face. You need those relationships. Now is the time more than ever. Here's an interesting one I read the other day. I saw the other day was you may want to watch a good massage video and learn how to do it and offer that massage to your partner. Maybe a little bit nervous in the beginning, but uh, I'm sure that once you get going, just practice it, massage it, and I'm sure the good things will come from it. Um... Uh, Go back to taking a look at reading some books, right? Dig right in. Fiction is good. Maybe you enjoy nonfiction. Um, but get back to reading some books. You got some time. Get away from the screens. Just get a regular book and start to read, right? Maybe you think you want to, you know, you've said forever that you wanted to start, you know, working on your meals. So get yourself a cookbook. And say, tomorrow night, we're going to try this this recipe. Just try something out. You might find something that you really enjoy, something that you've wanted to do for a long time. You've wanted to try to improve your your menu that you, you, know, you have every single week. Because we all get in ruts. We eat the same things over and over. So try something different. So make it a plan once a week that I'm going to try a different meal right now. Something not out of the, out of the norm. Um. <clears throat> I did see this the other day that you can celebrate the arts online. The Social Distancing Festival offers a world of online performances. So you can explore like classical music in the comfort of your own home. There's all kinds of concerts. So get in touch with the, uh, the arts if you'd like. If you want to make a list of the movies that you want to watch or something that you want to binge watch, right? But I I warn you, make sure that you limit your time just sitting down and watching this stuff. So if you're binge watching, don't binge it. 
watch one episode a day or one every other day. If you have some movies, just watch one movie at a time. Let's not get hunkered down unless it's pouring, even if it's pouring rain out there, don't get hunkered down in front of these screens. Okay. Just make a list, plan it out and say, this is where we're going to watch this. This is going to watch this. This will be movie night. So these are the movies. This is the movie we're going to watch. Um, if you are running a business, make sure you're taking time for yourself. So plan that into your business day. I know I run a business. I'm working more than ever. And uh, I got to take some breaks. This morning, 10 o'clock, I said, you know what? I'm going to go for my workout. My wife and I went up to the track. She did her little workout. I did my workout. We came back down. An hour later, felt much better, much refreshed. Beautiful outside. Was in the plan to get that workout in today. And I knew that I needed to get it done this morning because I had other responsibilities the rest of the day. So put it into your plan. If you do have some time and you're on social media, if you see some uplifting stories, get it right out there, repost it, you know, let's try to counteract the negativity that's going on out there, all that stress, try to relax people's fears. Um, you know, you can always take out an old board game. They're always fun, right? They're always fun to just pull out a game and play a game with your family. There is always the the world of podcasts now. So maybe pick out a podcast and something, one of those interests that we talked about, maybe something that you want to learn in the next six months, or maybe something you want to be able to accomplish in the next six months. Maybe it's a, a whatever it is, a craft or some type of skill. Pick a podcast and try to listen to that podcast. I don't binge it. Just listen to it, you know, maybe one a day, one every other day, something like that. Put it right into your plan. If you can and you, and you have the ability to, Put giving blood on your list of things to do because there's always a need for blood. So you want to give some blood, right? Sit down and write out a list of things that you've been procrastinating around your house. All the jobs you've been doing, whether it's cleaning, sorting, downsizing, decluttering, fixing, painting, whatever it might be, repairing. Just get it on that list and start putting it into your plan every single day. You don't have to do it all day long. Maybe some stuff from guard work, maybe some, some gardening, something like that. You've been procrastinating about getting those final leaves up or doing some trimming, whatever it might be. Just get it on the list and start putting it into your plan. So you can have all these different lists of, of things that you want to accomplish, projects you haven't done around the house, um, books that you want to read, people that you want to talk to, right? Movies that you want to see, maybe some cards, concerts you want to do. Um, all these different things, get these lists in line. And at the end of the night, or maybe when you're sitting down at dinner, hopefully sitting down with dinner with your family, go through and say, this is what I'm going to try to do today. I'm going to try to accomplish this. I'm going to try to, to pardon me, not today, tomorrow, let's do this. Maybe we can do this as a family. We do it together, separate, whatever. But this is my list of things that I'm going to accomplish, try to accomplish tomorrow. And I guarantee you, once you start to try to do that, you will feel better. And you'll be getting some things done that you've always wanted to get done. So try it out. Try it out today. Just start making a list of things. Next couple of days, make a list of books. Make a list of movies. Make a list of projects. Make a list of people you want to talk to. And, and start putting it into a plan. It's a simple plan. It can be. It can move around a little bit. It doesn't have to be like 10 o'clock. i got to stop what I'm doing. I need to do this. But just a plan of things that you want to try to accomplish. And you'll find that you'll be much more productive and you will feel better about, about yourself. You'll feel much less stress and you'll have a great day. So there's some ideas that I've come up with. If somebody else has some other ideas, certainly post them on the bottom in the comments section. I don't know everything. This is just some stuff that I've seen in the past few days and in a conversation I've had with some people. And I thought I would just put it out there. I know I have my day planned the day before. That's how I always work my day. Even when we're not in a crisis like this, I just like to know what's, what I have to get it done the next day. And it's out of my mind. So when I get up in the morning, it's off and I'm running and I'm doing what I need to get done. And by the end of the day, most of it's been accomplished. And if it hasn't, it might go to the next day. We'll see. But, so there you have it. Um, not necessarily for longevity, but we know socialization is not good for longevity and relationships are really important. So that's why I wanted to talk about this today a little bit. And um, who knows, maybe next week we'll talk a little bit more about longevity.
So you look for more tips from me down here at Yes Fitness or my family room next Tuesday at 3.30. And that information will help you get to get fit, feel younger, and live better. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy.